Hey, how you guys doing? Jason Williams, Charm CPT. Welcome to another episode here. We are going to do some foam rolling and some stretching using a yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a belt. Um, but we're going to get into some things that kind of just like loosen up those muscles, um, especially if you feel like you've been sitting around a lot all day and um, not really mobile, right? So uh, we'll start with the foam rolling first. So you can grab your foam roll again. It can, it can be the long one or short one. I'm going to start with a really nice upper back stretch slash uh, foam rolling exercise. So you're going to place the foam roll right in your scapula here or your upper part of your back. Hands come behind the head and slowly drop the head back to get a nice stretch through the chest. And you'll feel this in that upper back as you curl up and back down. So this should feel good again in that upper back if you sit a lot and you're usually at the desk hunching over. This kind of really opens up the chest as you get back and forth, right? And that's all you're doing. It's almost like a little crunch. Do about eight to 10, all right? And then once you do that, you're gonna curl back up, bring those hands around, really brace your head and neck with your hands. Lift those hips, so the little bridge, and then just drop the hips down. So your upper body is essentially still as you're bridging up and down. You'll feel this lower back Mid, mid back stretch on the way down with the hips and back up. All right, so again, press your way through the heels of your feet. I feel that nice stretch in the mid lower back. Again, about eight to ten of these, and then slowly take it down. Okay, all right, so from there, let's get to your shoulders. So, using the foam roller, so you're gonna. Roll to your side. The foam roll is going to go right underneath that armpit here, right? Okay. And then you brace your head and neck, make a fist with the hand, bring it underneath the head here. And here you're just going to kind of roll front to back. So now we're getting to your shoulder, and this is going to loosen up your neck and your traps here. So if you have a lot of uh, neck pain or tension, this is really good for, for that, right? And you can bend the elbow front to back, or up and down, excuse me. To really, you'll feel those knots, especially as you lean back a little bit. You'll really feel some knots back there, and then bending those that elbow up and down, maybe front to back, side to side. Again, stay on this for about 30 45 seconds. So, really take your time, go slow. All right, and you'll relax, and we'll do the other side. Okay, so again, you'll find the knots, you'll know when you find a knot. So, again, arm comes. Right underneath that foam roller, make that fist with the hand underneath the head, and then kind of lean front to back to really get those knots or adhesions out of your lat into the back of that shoulder, right? It's just gonna loosen up that neck. And then go ahead and bend the elbows, all right, or your elbow up and down, lean back maybe. So again, kind of play with it. You'll find a knot, right? And again, stay on that knot for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and really let it kind of disperse, right? Good. Nice, and then some let it release from there. Nice job. Okay, next thing we'll get into, um, let's get into your hip flexors. So, picking the foam roller, you're gonna bring right to like the pocket line of your pant, right? So right on the edge there, you'll lean, and bring the other leg up on the opposite side, kind of brace yourself, and you're gonna bend that knee. And again, this one you have to kind of play with it might be front to back, windshield wipe the leg, and move up and down to kind of really find that knot. And once you find it, stay on it. And again, move here to kind of like uh, dig into that hip flexor, right? And really loosen up those hip flexors. So if you sit a lot again, the hip flexors are gonna get tight, all right? Also may loosen up your lower back as well. So sometimes the hip flexors can get into that lower back if they're really tight. And again, foam rolling is going to get what stretching doesn't get. It gets kind of a little more deeper into the muscles, right? So up and down, again, about 45 seconds. You may want to spend a little more longer here on the hip flexors, right? Especially if they're, they're overactive like they tend to be. And then you'll switch it. All right, on this side, bring the other foot up to kind of brace yourself. Bend the knee, up and down. All right, side to side, windshield wipe, kind of get to the edge there. You kind of, again, kind of work your way around, find where the knot is for you, right? It's going to be different for everybody. 
you have about 45 seconds here or a little bit longer if you need it. If you have a little more tension or, or adhesions or knots into that hip flexor, right? So you can go slowly. You can go through the whole quad if you like. You can go a little bit higher up, you know, and kind of work in that way, right? So again, 30, 45 seconds. Take your time with it, okay? So that's our hip flexors, right? So you're still using the foam roller. Now we're gonna do a little stretch with the foam roller. So this is gonna go into your lower back here. You're just gonna have a seat on it, using kind of the upper part of your, your glutes to lower back, right? So it's gonna be a little bit lower than you think. So what you're gonna do is pull that right knee in really tight, stretch out to that left leg. Here, so here's a nice hip flexor stretch after we rolled those hips out, right? And again, hold this for about 45 seconds. Throw in a little hamstring and add that into as well, or not, just keep it there, right? And then switch, bring that left knee in, hip flexor lengthens out. Good. Again, hold it for about 30 seconds or so, and then pull up on that hamstring, right? And then bend the knees, lift the hips, slowly take it down, okay? So, that's some foam rolling for you. We're gonna get to uh, your yoga strap next, or your belt. So, let's go into some static stretches for the hamstring. So, you're just gonna pull straight back here. You can start with this knee bent if your flexibility isn't, isn't that good. So, you can tighten up into the band if you want a little more tension. And just pull straight back, right? Point and flex the toe. Get a little deeper stretch through the calves here on that side, right? Point, flex, if you want a little deeper stretch, straighten out that leg, right? All right, so I'm gonna change the angles here so you can see here, point and flex. So again, hold that for 30 seconds. Maybe take it wide, open up the hip now. Keep this right side down, all right? And same thing here, you can point and flex. All right, and then cross it over again. Here, get a little IT band to the lower back. Keep your left shoulder down. Remember, both straps are in my right hand here. And then come back up. So again, hold each side maybe 30 seconds, switch. You start that knee bent, point and flex the toe. So create a little tension. Good, and you straighten out that leg. Once that hamstring loosens up a little bit, take it wide to the right. Hold here. Good, cross it over, switch hands. Again, on this IT band stretch, you don't have to go really far over, just keep it maybe that 45 degree angle going out that way, right? And then keeping the shoulder down. And you'll feel it just here into that lower back. So it doesn't take much and then come back up and relax, okay? So from there, we're gonna go into a little neck stretch here. So using this strap. So you're gonna place the strap behind the head here, right, like so. You have the two, the two uh, handles here. And then slowly tuck the chin into the chest and give a light pull to stretch the back of that neck. And you can move your head side to side. That should feel pretty good. Just to stretch the back of the neck here into your traps. Good. And then from there, you can take the strap, cut it in half, and bring it maybe overhead now and do a little, nice side body stretch here. Nice side body stretch here again. You can hold it a little bit longer or just go back and forth. Really, people always forget to kind of stretch out your rib cage into the hips here, right? Because those get tight too, right? Those muscles along the ribs. All right, okay, so from there, you move that to the side, back to the foam roller. Another hip flexor stretch you can do is one knee down. So kind of like a lunge stretch, right? So this is nice because it gives a little deeper stretch into the hip, right? So you're gonna shift your weight forward here, bring the right hand up so it's all right side. So now we can get a little bit deeper to the hip flexor here, maybe to the psoas. If you lean back, do a little side stretch. So I'll show you from this angle, right here, a little side stretch, maybe lean back, twist, and really open up through that rib cage, 
right? So again, if you don't have a foam roller, you don't have to use it. You can just go without and then kind of shift the weight forward. Same thing, all right? Here we go. And then go switch sides. Left knee. Shift the weight forward. Bring that left hand up. Side bend stretch. Again, open up. All right, straight from this angle. Side bend, twist it open, and relax it down. Okay, so those are some stretches that, and some firm rolling techniques that you can use, um, especially if you're feeling like a little, a little tight in your hips, upper back, kind of trapped. So we kind of covered all the points in your body that get a little bit, bit tight through, whether it's work, stress, all that stuff. So give it a try. Let me know. You'd be happy to. Uh, answer any questions that you guys have, so feel free to message me, uh, Charm City Personal Trainer at gmail.com. Um, otherwise, um, let me know, share it, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, bye.